I just stroke at the store, stroke on the small. Tell me to quit, no, no, say what I'm told. They help me forget that this world is. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, we are doing our Builders Hall 6 Let's Play Episode 7, I think. I think we're all the way up to Episode 7. Since I saw you guys last time, we've got our Baby Dragons to level 11, as well as our second Firecracker to level 5. And that is helping us out on defense a ton against these all dragon, the mass Baby Dragon raids, which is what we're using at the moment. So I'm kind of excited to get our Baby Dragons to 11 because as soon as they're level 11, we are going to get them straight to level 12. So we are going to be doing our three attacks today, unless we lose. Hopefully we don't lose. We've got our Arch Towers all at level 5. We've got our Firecrackers at level 5. So now I believe we are going to start working on our ground defenses so we don't start getting destroyed by some ground troops like Mass Barbarians and stuff like that. So I think we are going to go with our regular cannons first since they're cheap and they're really... Uh, small upgrade time it's only one day and yeah we're gonna get one of our cannons to level 5 today and the elixir we are saving to get our baby dragons to level 12 as soon as they're level 11 which is in 22 hours and 11 minutes so let's get into our first attack we've got our mass baby dragons and our battle machine so this is actually the absolute hardest base to beat with baby dragons right now besides the diamond bases diamond bases are pretty tough as well but this base is really challenging i always have a tough time attacking this base i might change this base and test it out and then let you guys know how it works if i do get it so we're at like 33 36 trophies or something like that hopefully we reach 3400 today but as long as we stay over 3000 that is the goal so i don't know how i'm going to approach this base today I think we might go in from this left side and kind of just spam our baby dragons down and get the defenses down until we can eventually drop in our baby drag our battle machine, sorry. Get that battle machine there. So let's go in. Actually change of plans right here. We are going to go in from this top left corner. That way we can take out two archer towers and keep pushing with our raids. So let's let's start dropping our baby dragons around the base. Now we are not going for a three star in this raid, unfortunately, because this base is really hard to three star. And as you can see, his defenses are pretty much all level five. So he's pretty, pretty well upgraded for a Builder's Hall six. Uh, he's definitely done some jumping because you can't really get this far this fast as of yet. So he's done some gemming, but not too much. He, he's doing pretty good, though. He, all right, so there we go. We've got the main defenses down. We really need to get that crusher out of the way. Otherwise, that is GG, end of the raid for us. We need to get that crusher down. Let's see if this baby dragon can do that for us. It's at half health. I think we're going to drop our, baby, our battle machine right here to tank that one archer tower. And now that we've got that one archer tower getting tanked right now, we're going to drop our other baby dragon so it's not taking so much heat. And there it goes. It's able to take out that uh, crusher. And I think we will be able to get the two star in this raid. So there's the one star. Here we go. We are on the builder's hall right now. Come on. Get me that two star battle machine. Looks like we're going to get that two star with no problem. And there we go. Excellent two star. Now we are going to wait with our battle machine ability and get the maximum amount of percentage we can get. So let's drop that ability one more time. I think that's going to be the last time we use that ability because he's got a lot of defenses hitting him. So yep, there we go. That's the end of the raid. 59% 2 star. Not too bad, but not great. There we go. We got the win. He got 53% 2 star. So luckily we did get that 2 star. Otherwise we would have lost. So that puts us at 3,300 and 55 trophies so not too bad how many trophies still 33 um, I'm wondering if it's like Clash of Clans in the regular base where as you get higher the trophies you get get lower but so far we are still steady every raid we pretty much get like 28 to 33 trophies average probably about average of 30 trophies 31 trophies so I'm gonna wait for this army to train I'm really happy we won that first raid and I'll see you guys in a second 
Alright guys, we are back and our army is trained and we are ready to get into our next battle. We've still got, we're running the 12 baby dragons with the battle machine. So wow, this guy's got some level 6 defenses. This is a tough base. It's probably one of the tougher bases I've seen so far. It's not so much the base design, but his defenses are upgraded pretty high. So... We're going to go in with the same strategy as last time. We are most likely not going to be able to 3-star. But hopefully we can get into the 2-star. I'm really worried about this crusher on this side. If we do go in from the top right side, our battle machine might get funneled in through this wall and go straight to that crusher if we don't get it out with the baby dragons. But the left side, I'm kind of worried because he's still got those archer towers up. And then he's got those um, firecrackers on the left side. I think we're going to go in from the left side so we can funnel our uh, battle machine through this funnel instead of that one. That way we stay away from that crusher. So let's go ahead with that strategy right there. I think that's going to work out best for us. So let's see how this works out. Hopefully this works out well. I've never seen this design yet. I think this guy just put this design together himself because it does not look too well done so we did get that top archer tower out which i didn't think we were going to be able to get with that first initial push but i'm pretty happy we got that first archer tower out of the way now hopefully we get this second archer tower out of the way that way we can kind of have less defenses pushing on us we really need to get this crusher out of the way though that is going to be one of the major things that stands in our way come on get that archer tower we got the archer tower so let's drop hmm, let's see how we want to do this Let's get that second, um, let's get that first crusher out of the way and then send in our battle machine. Battle machine is going to be taking a lot of damage. We did not get that first crusher, unfortunately. So that, we should have gone from the top right side. I knew it, but I guess we learned from our mistakes. We were able to get that hit off before the crusher went completely down. So our battle machine is okay, but right now he's taking a lot of damage from all these defenses right now. Hopefully he could get to that Builder's Hall and hopefully he could take it out before he dies. Otherwise we are going to get the Zero Star. We are spamming on that ability. And no! Right before he's able to get that Builder's Hall, he is dead. So we lost at a 59% 1 star. Our first time getting raided with Mass Witches. Let's check that out. He only got a 1 star, which is pretty bad. He's got a level 6 Battle Machine as well. So I guess he's using that Battle Machine to tank that Mortar. And then puts the Witches in through the back. So we did lose... That's the first time we've lost in quite a while. So hopefully we can bounce back in this next raid. So those witches actually look really cool. I like the red. I guess that's only the level 12 that has it. Because we got attacked by like level 2 witches. They didn't look nearly as cool as that. But he only got the 1 star. Which is OP. They're actually not that good. I still haven't even unlocked witches. I don't have any care for them. I don't think witches are going to be that great. So... Ever since they nerfed it, before the update even came out, thanks to the other YouTubers, they nerfed the witches, and they're not as great as they were in the developer build, which we never got a chance to play with. So, I guess we'll find out in the future if they end up making witches a little bit better, and I will upgrade. But as of now, I don't have any reason to upgrade. I'd rather throw my elixir into some troops. So, we are going to wait for our next army to get trained, and I'll see you guys back in another second. Okay, guys, we are back, and our army is ready. So, let's get into our next battle. Hopefully, we can bring a win home. And here we go, we've had this face one more time. So this guy's got his archer towers on ground, which is really interesting because that kind of makes it harder to attack with baby dragons. I think I'm going to go in from this top right side so we could take out that firecracker and those archer towers first. Because if we go in from this side, we won't be getting any of the air defenses. That way we, our baby dragons will die faster. So... Let's start off on this side. We could drop that baby dragon and he'll be free to roam. And now we want to get this arch tower and that firecracker out of the way before we can continue this kind of little push on this side. So hopefully we could get out these troops real quick. Uh, that one baby dragon is going to die. So let's drop a baby dragon on that firecracker. Hopefully take out that firecracker if he's got enough health. Uh, oh, so close. He's not able to do it. So let's drop another baby dragon here and a baby dragon on that archer tower. And then a baby dragon back on that uh, double cannon. 
baby dragon on that double cannon. Dang it, we were not able to get that arch tower. So we are going to save this baby dragon and see if we are able to get this crusher out of the way before we go in for that other arch tower. So let's see if we can get this crusher. Hopefully we can. Oh, we should have actually taken that arch tower out first. That way they've got less defenses going down on that. So here we go. We're going to need to use this ability very wisely. That arch tower is almost taken out, but we need to use this ability in order to get that crusher out of the way. Looks like we weren't able to get the ability in time. That crusher is going to come down hard on the battle machine. One more time. Come on, take out that archer tower. Now we are on the builder's hall. Come on. We need this ability back one more time. Our battle machine is getting crushed and he's down. So that's going to leave us at a 56% one star once again. That builder's hall was so close to going down. So we've got a 56% one star. Let's check out how he's doing. He's got a 53% one star. Looks like he's going to take out that crusher right now. Now he's at a 56% one star. Looks like he's going to get that builder's hall because he will get his ability off again. And probably another time. So there's the builder's hall. There's a 59% two star. And that's probably going to be it for him. Dang it. That was so close. We almost tied right there. But 59% two star. So there's another loss. That base is so hard to beat. I can't figure it out. I'm able to two star sometimes. But with those arch towers on ground, it's a lot harder because... They just wreck the baby dragon. So we're going to wait for this army to get trained and I'll see you guys back in another. Okay guys, here we go. We've got our army and let's get straight into this attack without wasting any time. So this is an interesting base right here. Hmm. This looks like we're going to be able to three star it. But I don't want to sound too cocky off the bat. Because we are going to need to be able to get through. A couple solid defenses first because his defenses are no joke it's pretty decently leveled up but we are going to need to get some of these defenses out of the way before we are able to even think about the three star so so far so good we need to get these arch towers out of the way as well as this firecracker and then eventually we are going to need to throw a baby dragon or our battle machine into the center over here to work on this archer tower and hopefully get that uh, air mine out of the way before that crusher takes him out. So we've got three baby dragons left. I'm gonna drop one on that archer tower over there. Start doing work on that side. And then now we've got two baby dragons left. We're gonna take out that archer tower before he's able to do too much damage. And then now we are working on that crusher that hopefully doesn't take out our battle machine, but it does. So looks like this is just going to be a two star. Hopefully if our baby dragons don't get taken out too quick. So there's one. And now we are going to shoot for the highest percentage we can get, which right now is at 65%. Hopefully we can get a little bit higher than that to hopefully uh, guarantee a win. So 68% two star, not too bad, but it might not be enough. Luckily it is a victory. There we go. You got a 59% two star. So as you can see, most people up here get a pretty high percentage that puts us back over 3,300 trophies. So if you're not getting at least like a 70% two star, you're not guaranteed to win. If you even get like a 68% two star, like I just did, it's still tough to get the win. So you need to get as high a percentage as possible and get three stars. If you can, we have not gotten any three stars in this video so far, but if you check our last videos, we pretty much get three stars every video and we have been getting matchup with hard bases. So I'm going to train up this army and I'll see you guys back in another sec. Okay guys, the baby dragons are ready. The battle machine is ready. I asked them. They told me that they are ready to go into battle. So here we've got kind of a variation on a diamond base it looks like. So let's go in with our... We might three star this guy. I shouldn't have said that because I will jinx it just like last raid. So let's go in with our battle machine here to distract that arch tower. Now we can start taking out these defenses. I should have waited till I got that air mine before dropping the rest of these baby dragons to be honest. Should have waited to drop that first one. So let's use that ability get that arch tower out of the way. Then let's get that mine out of the way. Um, I wish that battle machine was tanking that other arch tower. Which now it is. So we've got that air mine out of the way. Perfect. Boom. And so now I think it's going to be at least a two star. 
I'd like to think. At least I'm hoping that. But they do still have a solid amount of defenses left. So let's drop that Battle Machine ability one more time. Hopefully he goes to the Builder's Hall after this. So we don't have to... Uh, he doesn't go to the Builder's Hall, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Battle Machine! Alright, so he does not go to the Builder's Hall. He's going to get that Elixir Storage. That's going to be the last thing he does. Hopefully he's got... We've got enough health to get to that Builder's Hall. So far we are at an, a 74% 1 star, which is not too great. We need to get the 2 star, otherwise we will lose this. Dang it, that Baby Dragon went into range of that the short Archer Tower. The short range Archer Tower. And that's... Oh, a win! I thought it was going to be a loss. Are you kidding me? Alright, so I'm really happy about that. I thought we were going to have to go into battle one more time. But looks like we did not pass 3,400 trophies. We only got to 3,357. And we started the episode at 3,355. So, we didn't make much progress. But we didn't go backwards. That's that's the main key right there. So, he got a 62% 1 star. Pretty lucky on that. I'm going to I'm gonna watch that for a second. Let's see what he did wrong. He's got a level 6 battle machine, which is pretty awesome. I wish I had a level 6 battle machine. And level 12 baby dragon. So, his baby dragons are a lot more powerful than mine. So I'm going to speed this up because no need to watch the whole thing. So he kind of did what I did. Honestly, on my base, if you guys do see my base, because I know a lot of you guys are copying it now because it does work so well, the way I would probably attack it is drop a battle machine right here to go in for this arch tower and then that, the air mines, and then hopefully take out the rest of the defenses with baby dragons. But either way, this base is still really hard to attack no matter how you attack it ground troops air troops no matter what way you go from it so if you guys haven't tried this base a lot of you guys have been commenting in the comments that it has helped you guys a lot and no one's been able to beat it so this base does work amazing i was about to change it but no need to change it if it still works don't break don't fix something that ain't broken all right so that's gonna wrap up this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it let's put this cannon on upgrade boom one day and then we are going to do the next cannon and then we're probably going to go back to doing air defense stuff because I'm getting attacked by baby dragons non-stop. We might do these arch towers to be honest. They're 1.2 million each, but we're going to do that after the air bombs, of course. But those archer towers at level 6 are deadly. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content. Tomorrow is going to be a Clash Royale video because I do alternate every day. So there's content for everyone. The regular ba the night base, the regular base. And then Clash of Clans, or Clash Royale, sorry. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.